in a world of writers, actors, and actresses. You dare to act harder. One, two, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. The old dark doc awaiting the sensation of a short, sharp shock. Mommy made me mash my M&M's, bum, bum. Mommy made me mash my M&M's, bum, bum. You dare to write harder. <sighs> You need a break to express your talent. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. <laughs> a break to change your life. individual to help you be seen and heard. You've earned your big break. All right, hello, hello, everybody. Welcome. Thank you for joining us at week five of the big break. Uh, we, we love having you with us. Um, obviously, here we have... Uh, the amazing Aaron Cottrell joining us for this week on our live stream. Uh, thank you, Aaron, so much for being here. It's my absolute pleasure. Thank you for having me. Oh, man, we had a wild week here. We had a wild week. Um, I know that uh, everybody is very anxious to see who our uh, winners were this week. Um, and we're going to be unveiling them momentarily. We had, um, this week was really unique in a couple ways. We had the most auditions we've had in a given week. Uh, we have had um, uh, we had our top voted winner get more votes, more support than anybody had yet. Um, there's a lot of firsts that happened on the show this week, and I just want to thank everyone out there for supporting us, for supporting our aspiring actors. Um, you know, our show is really all about trying to be that platform for the talented actors that just that haven't gotten their shot, that deserve to have their talent seen, and that's only possible by you supporting the show and by you watching. And we really want to make a difference for them. So thank you, everybody who's been who's been watching our show. Um, now, on that note, you know, I, I want to jump straight into I want to straight, jump straight into the first unveiling. So, um, you know, this week we had a lot of really amazing and bold auditions. Um, you know, this week was our favorite, your favorite scene from favorite movies. And we had some wild stuff out there. But, you know, one in particular really stood out. And um, we're going to unveil that one. Real, real quick, uh, Aaron, can you just give us a quick, uh, a quick uh, uh, bit on what was it about your top pick that you selected that kind of stood out? And why was that? Why did that one stand out to you? All right. I'm going to say this and try to be as veiled as possible since you don't know who the pick is yet. But this actor's performance was so genuine and so heart-wrenching that when it was over, I literally, every time I watched it, I probably watched about six times, I just went, ugh, afterwards, because it just got me straight in the gut. And so when I have a visceral response like that to somebody, I know they are totally in the zone and they're bringing some other energy in that's not theirs and it was brilliant and i was just very very happy to see that quality here yeah it it it, it really got all of us in that way uh, we appreciate uh the work that had to go into that and the effort so without further ado without further ado uh we'd like to unveil uh the top selected the top selected audition for this week everyone enjoy through the auditions we were reviewing them and we were we were going over them actually as you know our judge is uh, Aaron Cottrell 
And so she was just, she was going through them with us and something actually came up. And what actually came up was the fact that, well, Denise, it was the fact that your audition was by far the best. Okay. And we were, and, and what I'm actually calling to tell you is that of all the auditions that we got this week, Erin Cottrell singled yours out by far and said she was phenomenal. Uh, and I'm calling to congratulate you and let you know, as you may have seen on our trailer, you've earned your big break. I, really? I, I'm welcoming you to the show. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Denise, you should be really proud. Uh, you're, you're, you are very talented. You did a phenomenal job. I'm such a big baby. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're very welcome. You, you did so well. Like, Thank you. You, you. you clearly put a lot of heart, a lot of work into what you do. And uh, we're, we are delighted and really excited to have you as part of our cast. Thank you so much. That means like the, the world to me. It's, <laughs> it's our pleasure. It's our pleasure. We're really, we're really proud of what you, what you did. You should, and you should be. You know, Thank so, you so much. We're going to, we're really excited to feature you. We want to do, you know, this is why we're here is we're going to do what we can to, you know, to open doors for talented people like yourself who deserve a shot. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my God, I'm so lost for words. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> it's okay. It's a good moment. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, I, I, oh my God. <laughs> I, I'm. I'm, I'm super I don't, excited. I don't know if you were on the edge as to whether or not you were going to audition, but I'm really glad you did. I'm really glad you did. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, Denise, we're, I'll tell you what, we're going to be in touch. We're going to be in touch with some details as to what comes next, okay? Okay. So, I'm gonna, so we're gonna t I'm going to talk to you really soon. Congratulations again. Thank you. All right, and... Without further ado, Denise, come on out. Come on out, congratulations. There she is, yay! <laughs> oh, oh man, that, that, Denise, you're absolutely amazing audition. Like, it really hit all of us, and, you know, genuine congratulations uh, from all of us here. We're, we're really excited for you. Thank you so much. Oh, man. Yeah. So, it was really, really fantastic. Sorry, I just want to congratulate you uh, in person. I was super impressed and was really just blown away by, by seeing you and the commitment to it. So thank you for giving that to us. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, I, I, what made you, so what, tell us a little bit about, what, tell, tell us what drew you to do that particular piece you know, what did it take for you to put that together, to draw yourself into that moment? It, uh, it, it, it looks like it, you put a mountain of work into really just yourself to get that as good as it was. Um, <laughs> so my sister actually sent like a funny little meme to me with um, the comedian and actress Monique. Mm -hmm. And so I saw the the um the competition and I and I thought I think I want to do this piece and so I, I replayed it over and over and over and I watched her emotion and I'm like okay I got to pull from everything and let me see what I can come up with. And I have my daughter who's right here. Yay! Oh, <laughs> hi, hi, this is Chloe. Oh, she was yeah. she, Another <laughs> Chloe! <laughs> my name's Chloe too. <laughs> and so I had her hold up I I typed out like the monologue yeah. um for up to a minute and I had her hold it right behind the camera. <laughs> And I took my glasses off and, and it was so funny because there was one part in the video where 
she laughed. I don't know if you could hear it, but yeah, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> and I tried to keep my composure, but um, my sister told me to just post it, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna post it, and I got a lot of 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 like awesome reactions. People they they said it was very like heart wrenching and heartfelt. I was gonna ask how Chloe, how old are you, sweetheart? Five. You're five. That's a good age. I have a little girl who's six. And I was going to ask you, Denise, do you feel like since becoming a mom, too, that your emotions are more easy to access? Like, I, I only say that because I felt like who I was as an actor beforehand was one way. But then after you have a kid and love a kid, like you can't love anything else, that like there's a depth. And it, I, I find it's like easier to access, especially like the sadness of that. Or the I was just wondering. I, I, yeah, I agree. I think that, and even in that role, yeah. um, the original um, actor for that role, she wasn't very um, <laughs> nurturing and caring to her daughter. And so yeah. I could only imagine yeah. Um, you know, being a mom or knowing a mom like that that would do that to their child. And so I it, that alone made me a little bit sad. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Very well done. So. <laughs> and this is real. This is this is real life. We we <laughs> in the in the world of theater and acting. This is this is it. You know, it's um, one of you know one of the things that this actually really demonstrates is that what we do, what actors do, what theater what theater is, it's not done in a vacuum. It's done with community. And you know, one of the, actually one of the really touching things in in the first five weeks of the show that's happened is a lot of actors have been expressing when I when we call them up when we talk to them is the gratitude and the, how joy they are at the fact that you know there isn't something like there isn't something like this out there to help them and that, that the community is actually coming and getting involved trying to open doors for them to have the talent like we see here with denise being brought forth is really a magical thing and with our other uh, with our other winner this week i gotta say we have we have not seen the amount of community activity coming together to support an actor, to, to, to provide votes for him, to express their support and joy at the work he did as we did this week. And, um, you know, for our next, and for our next winner that, that, that bears mentioning is that this is our top voted winner had without question the most votes that we have ever seen for a single contestant. And we want to reach out and thank his community, thank you for the support because he is incredibly talented and we're really glad we got his audition and it's that kind of support that is going to help that every actor truly needs from their community and we really appreciate everyone who's watching that supported him this week and so on that note on that note uh we would like to we would like now to introduce to you uh your top voted winner for this week all right so um so the reason I'm calling is because we're going through um, all the auditions this week. And um, with a handful of them, something came up and we had to double check them. And with yours in particular, it was kind of a special case. And so, you know, simply put, the reason I had to call you, well, quite frankly, Jared, is because your audition was so damn good. Thank you so much. The reason I'm calling is because apparently everyone out there thought the same. And so, Jared, as you may have seen on our trailer, you've, uh, I'm calling because you've earned your big break. Oh, that, oh, I'm so excited. I'm calling to officially invite you to the show. Uh, thank you so much. I, I, I can't wait to, to show off what I got, you know. I got to thank everyone who, who was out there and supported me. I, I'm, I'm so excited for this opportunity. You should be really proud, man, of the work you've done. Your audition was phenomenal. Uh, it's clear that you've put a, a tremendous amount of work and effort with your audition, uh, just with your craft over the years. And it, it was just phenomenal, Jared. You had a mountain of support as well. And uh, yeah, you've, you by far and away won the popular vote this week. And so 
Um, we are we're really excited to have you on the show for season one. Well, thank you so much, Andy. I'm I'm ready. Uh, and we're ready for you, buddy. So, um, well, congratulations again. We're going to be in touch uh, soon with the more details. But you know, um, you know, you enjoy your time at the beach, man. You 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 definitely earned it. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Once again, <laughs> now if, I'm, if if your if your esteemed host has not mentioned this yet, this is not what one would call a high end a high end production. And we appreciate our community support as uh, your host may have had the audio off once again. So guys, we're gonna reset that. We wanna welcome Jared to our show. Yes, Jared, Jared, once again, <laughs> introduce yes, yourself Jared. and all that. <laughs> <laughs> please, Jared, tell us what- So Jared, what, what, you were, what you were just saying, please tell everyone again. <laughs> Uh, I mean, like you, yeah, like you guys were saying before. I just, I'm so grateful for everyone in my life who, who who've been supporting me. Not not just for this, but just throughout everything I've done in my entire life. Um, all the way from you know people I knew in high school, back home, people from college, you know, acapella groups, my fraternity, everyone in the drama program at Hofstra University. I, I am so grateful for every single one of them. So thank you guys so much. Yeah, Jared, you you did a phenomenal job. Like, I'm so happy you had that su- you had that support. Um, like, it's really it's really clear. It's really clear from the audition that you've been going at this for a while. You put a ton of work into your craft, and and it really shows, man. So you know, from us, we really appreciate you coming out. We really appreciate getting the audition. You know, and just congratulations. We're crazy excited to have you on our show. Thank you so much. I'm I'm thrilled to be here. Um, Aaron, Aaron, why don't you like if you know. Uh, you want to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, uh, Jared's audition and, you know, what some of the, any of the things that stood out for you? Sure. Well, first I want to say, so Andy and I just did an interview and one of the things we talked about was the community that surrounds theater and how the friendships that you have and that little family you create is like one of the greatest things ever. So it speaks volumes to how much people love you, first of all, Jared, but also that you are building your own chosen family when you are in a theater department or when you are in a show. It's when a show ends, it's hard to say goodbye to those people. And God love Instagram and Facebook and whatever because you can stay in touch and and keep up with each other. And and that is, it's just the most invaluable, brilliant, and you'll have support forever. So it just goes, it's a a testament to the the integrity of those people. So I'm happy they showed up for you. You're clearly a very loved dude. Um, yeah, no, your your audition was great. I wanted to ask you, what inspired that movie as a choice for you? Well, typically in acting, I'm, I'm more of a comedic actor. I like doing like fun character roles, you know, goofy. Um, and I auditioned last week with a, a character from Talladega Nights to kind of show off my, my southern accent and my, my comedy a little bit. Um, and so this time I want to kind of switch it up because I do have that kind of, you know, I, I like to make people laugh, but I have that like soft side, you know, that more sensitive side of me. So I want to try something dramatic because in college that was something I never really got to do. And, and I don't know, if something just clicked, you know, I really felt connected with that, that movie and that monologue and, and it just, you know, now I'm here. Yeah, I, a lot of my acting before has been like on the stage and in theaters. So film acting is something I'm still pretty new to. So I'm still, you know, learning pick up tips and stuff like that. Sure, I'm, and it's all, I mean, you had the neutral background and all that jazz, but I feel like you always do yourself a service if you move the camera tighter, especially for these auditions I'm noticing. I went yeah. back and looked on Instagram, and not just the ones for this week, but ones from the past, and the people that are tight, because this is it, like in film, it's your eyes, and it's, we're constantly reading, are you telling me the truth? And if you can yeah. see somebody's eyes, you know if that's true or not. And if you can't, it's a disservice to the actor. Yeah. Right. I was actually lucky. My uh, my my housemate who, who filmed it for me actually he has a like a stuffed Pikachu doll and he okay. put one there. So like I had like people to look to kind of. So it, it worked out right. perfectly. Right. 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 Very really specific eye lines. Yeah. Good. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. This will be my sister, and then this will be my uncle or whatever. But yeah. good for you. Good job. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Well, we have we have uh, we have a little time left, and I know we we it's it's a real treat to have um, it's a real treat to have someone uh, of such experience, um, not just in in acting but in teaching. Uh, as Aaron here, 
Um, I know, you know, Chloe Delaney, do you guys, uh, I know you guys probably have a lot of good questions for her from, from your experience in, in being aspiring actors and writers. Yes, I have a question. Yes. Um, so what was your catalyst for acting for film? Like, do you have theater experience? And like, if so, what made you transition in like, because I've done a little bit of both mm -hmm. and it, they're so different. Mm -hmm. So like, what made you want to pursue a career in film? That's such a good question. So yeah, I started out in theater. Um, I started out, my mom's a choreographer, so I started out doing a lot of musical theater as a kid. I was also a dancer, she taught at a studio. So that was my life because the joy of musical theater is like the greatest thing, right? Mm -hmm. So loved that created a sense of community. I wanted to keep that aspect of, of performance in my life. I went to University of North Carolina and majored in theater there, loved it, Did ended up doing a lot of classical theater there as well. And then thought, oh, I'm gonna be a classical actress. This is gonna be my life. I will do Shakespeare. I went to um, London and studied there for a while, worked at a, uh, did an internship at a theater there. And when I moved back to New York, I did some theater. I did. I got my equity card doing a Shakespeare show at the uh, the Shakespeare Theater in Washington D.C. And then um, I did some musical theater as well. I went to Nashville. I worked at Tennessee Rep. I did Camelot there, which was life changing. So I was like, yes, theater, theater, theater. And then I auditioned for um, a soap opera and booked it, and was like, oh, there's a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a little, it was uh, it was a little different as a supplement to my theater addiction. Let's also do this, and I started to really love it. That I was on, you know, six months on one soap, another six months on another soap. But I started to audition for TV more and more, and I really grew to love that process. It's very different. There are times. Um, I did a, a mini series of Little House on the Prairie. They redid Little House on the Prairie for ABC and Disney in 2005. And I played Ma Ingalls, I was the mom. It was my first series regular role. And there were days when all I would do was walk across a field with a bucket of water. And I'm like, this is my career? Like <laughs> where you're so used to rehearsing and, and really getting in there with your fellow actors and doing all this heavy, intense, fun work. And now you're like, cool, I'm gonna be in my trailer for six hours and now I'm gonna walk across a field with a bucket of water and awesome. So there are definite downsides that you don't anticipate coming from theater when you go into film. But when you can really get some juicy stuff and when you can learn to work with the camera and learn how to present yourself in a much more real manner than you ever would on stage. Not that you're not real on stage, but it's a different kind of presentation. Um, there's something very charming about that. So there's a freedom to working and letting it go. And then three months later, you see what you created. And there's something brilliant about that too. It's it's collaborative in a totally different way. Does that answer your question? Yes, it, that's so inspiring. Thank you so much. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> That's cool. Thanks. I'll talk forever if you guys let me, so by all means shut me up if I'm going up. Uh, Delaney? Uh, all right. We both know what uh, these two amazing actors are here to get their like, out of the big break. Obviously the big break. What are you looking forward to? Like, what are you here to like get like get out of this? And like, what, what, what inspired you to be a part of this? So for me, it's, as I said, I was a teacher, you know, for a long time um, while I was working in film and TV because Growing up in the theater, it was the magic of that time for me was so, so special. And so connecting with actors as they're beginning their journeys or, you know, younger actors as they're finding who they are is super magical to me. Um, I would, you know, do it for free because it's, it's just like kind of connected to my heart to be able to help in that way. And then having a child of my own, I see her interested in it and I feel like I can help with the pitfalls of the industry, um, specifically like emotionally, psychologically, what that can do. Um, and then just to remind people to be excited about the passion it elicits in the performance and not about the end game necessarily. As I was saying to Andy in the interview, if, if your focus is on, I'm gonna be famous and I gotta make a ton of money, it's like you miss the whole point. 
you miss it because it's the doing of the thing. And when you do it, then you love auditioning and then you love collaborating and you love failing as much as you love succeeding. And so when you have that, the journey is like, it's cake. It's so much easier. It's not a struggle. Yeah, it's, it's uh, you know, in theater and TV and as much in life, it's, you know, I, you know, hopefully we all learn to enjoy the journey and, uh, and, and, and the process. Uh, you know, all of the time, one of the things we've heard from people, one of the things we've heard uh, here at the big break from a lot of our winners and a lot of the people who have taken things on as contestants is um, that they were nervous and they were scared to put an audition, one online on, on, on Instagram, but just auditioning in general and, and doing so, especially online, is a very daunting thing. I know that I know that this was a challenging thing. I, I actually I actually would like to hear from once again I'd like to hear from our winners this week, and um, from Denise and Jared. Jared, why don't we you know, we'll start with you. you know, there's a lot of people out there that are right on the edge of not maybe they're going to audition maybe they're not. You know they're not sure if they want to put themselves out there, let alone online. And you know what would you want to say to that person who's right on the edge, who's a little nervous, a little scared? What can you say to them? Uh, if you had the chance, I, I mean, I'd say just go for it. You know, just just trust in your instincts, and you know, if this is something you love, you shouldn't be afraid of it. You know, you should you should go for it. You should be passionate about it. You should just put your love into it, and I'm sure people around you are going to support it. You know, so just dive in. You know, go for it. And what about you, Denise? I know uh, I know that uh, you know you put a lot of just yourself and raw emotion intra audition you really just put it all out there what can you say to that person who's not sure if they really want to take that step you know what would you like to say to the next aspiring actor that may audition I would definitely say go for it dream big and put everything you have into it everything literally everything and um, you can come out on top it's is very true I, I think that a lot of what from what I've seen you know, from what I've seen, as I've said, I don't, you know, doing the show, I don't come from a theater background, and I am probably the most blown away by the, and a lot, and our, all of our judges have been telling us too, is that the quality of the, of the people that are coming to us on auditioning is amazing. And everyone out there who is thinking of auditioning, who's thinking of going for it, and is really not sure, I would bet that you don't realize how good you are. And I would ask that you you take that chance and let you know let us see the talent list because that's why we're here. We're trying to be a platform for you. And speaking of which, um, some people are probably waiting to hear this. So let me go ahead and explain uh, our next week's category. So as we go into week six, folks, we have hit a milestone at the big break. We are halfway through our first season of auditions, um, and the show itself is growing like crazy. Um, we. I can't tell you how appreciative we are that people are supporting our actors and coming and checking out the show. Um, you know, uh, I would be I would be negligent if I didn't mention that we still have about six days left on our Kickstarter. But highly encourage people to go check us out. Um, if our whole audience tossed twenty five bucks on it, it would pretty much take care of all of the show's financial needs and basically enable us to give a big break to people like Denise and Jared. And um, I can't tell you how much of a difference every, every, uh, every bit of support ma uh, makes. That being said, that being said, our category for this upcoming week as we're shifting gears is, is we're going to take a slight turn. We've, saw, we've seen a lot of heartfelt monologues. We've seen a lot of comedy. We've seen, we've seen the classics. It's time to turn a little darker note. Folks, we would like you to come and bring your villainous side. For this upcoming week, we would like to have a one to two minute audition of your of a villain. So please, uh, please, please dig deep, dig deep, um, embrace the dark side as it were, <laughs> and please bring us your villains. Uh, we would love to see them uh, audition. We will be accepting those monologues all the way until uh, Tuesday at 10 p.m. Um, post and once again, simply post them up on Instagram with the hashtag Big Break Audition. Uh, if you have, if there's uh, any concerns or questions, by all means, follow us. Send us a message. We're glad to help you out uh, to make this happen for you. Um, but uh, I guess from there, uh, from there, folks, we've uh, we've had an amazing week. Um, 
you know, I guess in just as we as we start to close up here, uh, Aaron, do you have any? Uh, would you like uh, any kind of like last words? And actually, would you like what? Can you give us some thoughts on the idea of doing a villain monologue? I'm. I, I this yes. is. I would love to hear. I think they'd love to hear from you. Yes. So here's the thing. Villains don't really know that they're villains. They are the heroes of their story. They are still in their minds doing the right thing. They might be damaged beyond fixing. They might have abandonment situations. Whatever hurt them is making them hurt people in the present, right? So when you, you can't play it evil. You have to play the fact that you are fighting for the thing that you believe in. This is right, you know, it, and it is not black and white. Every person is shades of gray. And so when you can figure out how to justify their behavior by whatever trauma happened to them in the past, it will be an honest performance. So that's what I have to say about that. Um, <laughs> all right. Fun question for everybody. We're going to go around really quick here as we close it up. Uh, I would love to hear, just really quick, Someone, na everyone is going to name off their favorite villain. Who oh, that's I so know, funny. I know. There's so <laughs> many. There's so many. I'll tell you what. Eddie, I'm, do we, it's going to be like a week to the I know. I'm, I'm, to I'm totally putting you on the spot. I'm going to start. I'll, I'll be fair. I'm going to go ahead and start. <gasps> out. And it's, it's a bit of a controversial pick because I am a diehard crazy diehard Star Wars fan and about a huge number of people are going to hate me for saying this I honestly feel that that Kylo Ren is a delightfully complex a complex villain very very conflicted and uh, I I am and now that's partially that's partially because I'm also a massive Adam Driver fan in general and, as, yeah, as you should as, as you as should, should. But I think I honestly think that Kylo, Kylo Ren is, is is a delightful villain. Um, all right, randomly picking uh, Chloe. Oh my goodness! Um, I, off the top of my head, Hades from Hercules comes up uh, because he's so sassy. <laughs> it he it is it is a mate. Yes, yeah, hundred percent. He's he's so funny. <laughs> um. Denise, Denise, who is your favorite villain? My favorite villain is the Joker. Ah, <laughs> the my Joker movie. I just love the the laughing part of the character mm -hmm. and of the story behind the Joker. So I would definitely say the Joker. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, right there with you, um, Jared. Good. Uh, well, I was going to say Hades 2, actually, from her. I love James Woods, and I think he was a phenomenal Hades. But in that case, I think I'm going to go with um, Javier Bardem's character in No Country for Old Men. Mm. Um, oh, and, uh, yeah. I just remember when I was young, when I watched the movie for the first time, the, the scene where he's in the gas station convenience store, and he's just, like, talking to the clerk, and just, like, how uncomfortable, and, like, kind of, like, that feeling of kind of dread that I felt that whole time. Yeah. And he was just, he was phenomenal in that role. Yeah, yeah. There's just, there's just this, there's, it's ominous. Every yeah. scene he is, he has, the care he brings such weight to the character. Yeah. And it's, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, right there with you. That's great. Delaney? Oh, boy. There are so many, and I'm trying to think. Oh, I also love Hades. He is very good. <laughs> I think Disney villain-wise, absolutely Hades. I try to think of something that's not, like, a movie or has been set. I think, straight play-wise, maybe Lady Bracknell for importance of being earned. It's just, just funny. As a, right. as a, a solid one. pick. As a solid pick. That's funny. All right. Yeah. Aaron? I didn't, I didn't want to get, like, super cerebral about it, but the, all the time when I hear villain, I think of Iago from Othello as the worst kind of human you can be because you are just flat out lying to somebody, telling them one thing, and then completely betraying them. I think that's, like, some of the worst villainy you could have is just flat out betrayal mm. well 
And so you have it. The villains bring out villains are passionate characters, bring out a lot of emotion. Uh, I'm looking forward to this. I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this this week. I hope I hope all of our actors do too. So guys, uh, listen. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching out there. Um, you know, we we're still. I'll just say we're still kind of. We're not a massive production, as you can see. We're having a lot of fun here. We have. We've got an amazing support from our community, and so please just you know follow us. Follow us on our social media. If you're willing to take a look at our Kickstarter, because pretty much what that does is. Is it gives us the opportunity again to support aspiring actors like Jared, like Denise. These guys deserve to have doors open for them. They have talent, and we want to be that platform that springs them off so that some of their aspirations, their dreams come true. Some of their work has fruit. All right, they deserve that, and that's why we're here. Um, a big thanks once again for Aaron for being with us this week. It was phenomenal, um, and. To our whole team, to our whole team at the big break, uh, it's there is you guys wouldn't believe the amount of work that goes into getting getting us prepped and doing this. Um, all of the managing on social media to the videos that go up, the posts, all that is time from people that have busy lives, work, school, and all that. So a big shout out to our to our entire team, from 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 Brittany, Delaney, Chloe, Van, Sabrina all the work you do makes all of this possible so thank you all for doing this and everyone we're looking forward to the second half of our season to all of our aspiring actors out there break a leg <laughs>